Oh, my name is Ron New. Um, from San Francisco, the Bay Area. Um, have some kids called the Neutrons. Um, friend of the Jacksons, and I'm the smooth criminal. I met the Jacksons in the early 70s when Michael came to do the Cow Palace. He came to my barber shop and got his hair cut at 855 to visit Daryl Street. Him and his brothers, and it was just a light introduction. I went to the show and did a few things, like take some pictures and did some things like that. But then later on, I wanted to create some Jackson like Joe Jackson did. I wanted to be like Joe Jackson. I wanted some kids that I could take and make them entertain and make them stars. So I started creating a group called the Neutrons, which I turned my name down around. Ron New turned around as Neutrons, and I started training them like the Jackson Five. And my destiny was to get to Joe Jackson and try to get them on the same trail that they were on to uh, make them become stars. I mean, Michael became friends in the 80s. Um, uh, we did a show at the Roxy. I went through there with my kids and Neutrons. It was called Joe Jackson Production. We were signed to Jackson Records at the time. I had got a deal with Joe Jackson. And that um, he did a uh, show, put a show for uh, Michael, Latoya, and Janice, and he had them come to the show. Michael filmed the show, and then Michael liked the boys, so I got a phone call uh, the next morning with Joe Jackson. Say, hey, new boy, Michael want to see them kids. Y'all been invited to the ranch, and, and that, on Havenhurst, come on down on the 101. I said okay, so we went through there about nine o'clock in the morning. And uh, what happened was, um, my kids started playing with Michael, and uh, they were outside on the trampoline behind Joe's bedroom, playing around all day long for a couple of hours. And then, then Michael finally came to me and said, uh, "New, I mean Ron, uh, your kids really love you. They like what they're doing." And, I, and they told me, I asked them, "What do you do?" And they said, "I had to come and ask you myself." So, what do you do? I said, "I'm an ex-player from the streets. I was a smooth, smooth cat, you know." I, Changed my life around to help my children. He said, "What did you do?" I said, "I used to have a bunch of women doing things for me and like that." And I said, "If you want to really know about me, get the movie called The Mac." I said, "I was a smooth criminal. I'm in a movie called The Mac." And Michael said, "I live like candlelight." Said, "Tell me more. Tell me more." So we hung out about 17 hours that day. He interviewed me, and I interviewed him. At the end of the day, he had a tape, and he just told, and he had an ice for the tape. He taped to my kids that night. He said that he needed to watch it because he liked some of their moves and he liked it them. So he said, "But I do have a tape that me and my brothers got." You can take it, make your kids practice this tape, and t uh, and let them learn how to get professional in the next eight, nine years. They'd be like me and my brother. So he gave me the Triumph tape, and I took it with me, and I've been here 27 years. On um, that tape is uh, Michael Jordan, Ben, uh, I'll Be There, I Want, uh, I want You Back, um, Shake That Body, Ho Heartbreak Hotel, um, I mean, it's like... 15, 20 songs on there, and Michael's is doing some incredible. Uh, he's taking you to church on it. He's got, he's pumping a lot of feeling in it, and you're getting to see Michael before he changed his face and his hair. He's the real original Mike. He the one that everybody want to see. Uh, it's another scene before footage is when Michael's cursing and rehearsing. And uh, when I say that, he's saying, "Bitch, close your eyes. Let the rhythm get in you. Have fun." Never seen before footage ever. I've been had it 27 years. I have a jacket. Um, at the house, I, was, uh, I took it, I got it out of the closet. Michael said I could have anything I wanted in the closet, so I got it out of the closet. And um, I got a hat. Got a, got a few things I'm going to open at the museum, but a lot of it's not for sale. The white suit, the coolness, the devilness, like he's a Mac, a player, and he's scared of nothing. He's a gangster, he's on the run. He does it in the uh, This Is It tape. You can see all that image of how he's getting down is actually really how I lived in the streets. When I got the Triumph tour tape, I remember Michael wrote on an 8x10 paper and sent it to my kids, to the new tribes, practice make perfect, practice make perfect, practice till 1998. I got that paper with me. Because uh, I can always have Doug. I'm bored.